Henry VIII was born on June 28, 1491, in Greenwich, England. He was the third child and second son of King Henry VII and Elizabeth of York. He was named after his father Henry VII, Henry Tudor, who had seized the English throne from Richard III in 1485. As a young prince, Henry VIII received an excellent education, studying Latin, French, Italian, music, and sports. He was also interested in theology and was well versed in the Bible. Henry was an attractive, charismatic, educated and accomplished king, keen on lots of sports in his earlier years, an avid reader, author and musician. He was athletic and intelligent, the most eligible prince in Europe. Henry wrote a treatise against the Protestant Martin Luther and was rewarded by Pope Leo X who gave him the title, Defender of the Faith, which British monarchs retain to this day. Henry VIII became King of England in 1509 after the death of his father. He was just 18 years old at the time and was not expected to become king, as his older brother Arthur was the heir to the throne. However, Arthur died before he could ascend to the throne, and Henry became the next in line. Henry VIII married Catherine of Aragon, his brother's widow, in 1509. Catherine was the daughter of the Spanish monarchs, Ferdinand and Isabella, and was originally married to Henry's brother Arthur. However, Arthur died shortly after the marriage, and Henry VIII was granted a dispensation from the Pope to marry Catherine. Two days after his coronation in 1509, Henry arrested and executed two of his father's most unpopular ministers, Sir Richard Empson and Edmund Dudley for high treason. Executions would become a primary tactic of Henry, and how he would deal with people who stood in his way. Catherine of Aragon had several stillborn children and a son who died aged seven weeks, but in 1516 she gave birth to a daughter, Princess Mary, but failed to produce a male heir. This was a significant problem for Henry, as he wanted a son to inherit the throne. Henry was known to have mistresses and with one, Elizabeth Blount, she gave birth to Henry Fitzroy, the illegitimate son of Henry in 1519. In 1520 Henry, with King Francis I of France, held a grand festival at great expense known as the Field of the Cloth of Gold, feasting, jousting and wrestling with each other in a show of united front against the Holy Roman Emperor. This lasted weeks and was at enormous expense. Thomas Wolsey was Henry's trusted advisor during his reign. Because Henry was not expected to become king, he had little tutoring in the affairs of state and was happy for Wolsey to advise him. However, as Wolsey was unable to secure a divorce from Catherine of Aragon, for Henry, he was dismissed, and accused of treason, he died before he could be brought before trial. Thomas More was brought in to replace him as Chancellor. Thomas More was executed later for refusing to acknowledge Henry as the head of the church. Thomas Cromwell replaced him and was instrumental in dissolution of the monasteries from 1536 to 1540. However, he was executed after his involvement in the arrangement of the marriage between Henry and Anne of Cleves. Henry's wars with the French were largely unsuccessful, and his success in the Battle of Flodden against the Scots only served to strengthen the alliance between France and Scotland. Henry VIII fell in love with Anne Boleyn, one of Catherine's ladies-in-waiting, and sought an annulment of his marriage to Catherine, after 24 years of marriage. He argued that the marriage was invalid because Catherine had previously been married to his brother, Arthur. When the Pope refused to grant the annulment, Henry VIII declared himself the head of the Church of England. This led to the English Reformation and the establishment of the Anglican Church, which broke away from the authority of the Pope. Henry VIII and Anne Boleyn were married in 1533, but their marriage was also without a male heir. Anne Boleyn gave birth to a daughter, Elizabeth, but was unable to produce our son. Anne Boleyn was accused of adultery and treason and was executed in 1536. This was a shocking event that sent shockwaves throughout Europe, and it tarnished Henry VIII's reputation. Henry VIII married Jane Seymour a few days after Anne Boleyn's execution. Jane Seymour was able to produce a male heir, Edward, but she died soon after giving birth. Edward took the crown after Henry's death and became Edward VI. Henry VIII married three more times, to Anne of Cleves, Catherine Howard, and Catherine Parr. His marriage to Anne of Cleves was annulled, and he had Catherine Howard executed for adultery. Anne of Cleves was brought to Henry's attention by a portrait commissioned of her by Henry, by the artist Hans Holbein, after favorable impressions, Henry agreed to marry her in January 1540. However after seeing her in person, she was not like the flattering portrait and Henry was unable to do his husbandry duties with her, and wanted the marriage annulled. The annulment was completed by July 1540. Henry married Catherine Howard on the 28th of July 1540, However, it was soon apparent that she was having affairs behind Henry's back, 
and she was beheaded on 13 February 1542. Henry married Catherine Parr in July 1543, and she remained married to Henry nursing him with his leg ulcers until his death in 1547. Catherine Parr was also a great influence on Henry, encouraging his interest in religious reform and intellectual pursuits. In 1536, Henry brought in the Act of Union between England and Wales, which aligned England and Wales. He also unified Ireland during his reign. Henry VIII was known for his obesity and ill health in his later years. He suffered from a number of health problems, including gout, obesity, and leg ulcers. He died on January 28, 1547, at the age of 55, and was succeeded by his son Edward VI. Henry VIII's reign was marked by political and religious turmoil, but it was also a time of significant social and economic change in England. Henry VIII was buried in St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle. During his reign, Henry VIII oversaw the dissolution of the monasteries and the establishment of the Church of England. This was a significant change in English society and led to the redistribution of land and wealth, as well as the suppression of Catholicism in England. The dissolution of the monasteries involved the confiscation of monastic lands and property by the crown. This was done in order to fund Henry's military campaigns, build his navy, and to break the power of the Catholic Church in England. The establishment of the Church of England was a result of Henry's desire for an annulment of his marriage to Catherine of Aragon. The Pope's refusal to grant the annulment led to Henry's break from Rome and the establishment of the Church of England, with the monarch as its head. Henry's religious policies were characterized by a desire for control and a rejection of Catholic doctrine. He sought to create a church that was more nationalistic and less beholden to the Pope in Rome. Despite his controversial policies, Henry VIII is also remembered for his cultural contributions. He was a patron of the arts, commissioning works by artists such as Hans Holbein and promoting the development of English literature. His reign saw the rise of the English Renaissance and the flowering of artistic and intellectual life in England.